What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. It is Wednesday. That means obviously a brand new video for you guys. So I just wanted to tell you guys a little story before this video starts. So yesterday I was editing a video that you guys saw yesterday that I had to edit all over again. And that brought me on to this idea to make this video. This video is going to be all about how to recover and, you know, use corrupted.veg.vegas files. So let's say that you are editing and you want to re press render. That's what happened to me yesterday. Yesterday, I wanted to press render and then it crashed. Okay, no big deal. But then I rebooted Vegas Pro and I got this error message and I kept getting in over and over again. I couldn't get into Vegas Pro. I couldn't even finish the video. So I had to edit it all over again. So that's what we're going to discuss today. How to fix these and how to recover these files right after the intro. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do now is basically drag in, for example, a clip of an image. I'm, I'm just gonna pretend that this is gonna be a video. Yesterday, I just wanted to go ahead and export the video that you, that the how-to about how to get 100 subscribers every single day. That's why I wanted to render, so I selected everything. I was done editing, if I hit file, hit render as, and what happened then was right here, this loading icon, it stopped it crashed i didn't even make it until this window so it just kept loading and loading and loading it became white once i clicked it like that and i thought okay let's just reboot vegas pro but nothing happened so i went on youtube looked up some information and i know how to fix it. so what we're going to do is first we're going to press the windows key on our keyboard on the left and what we're going to do is we're going to type in percentage app data and we're going to hit this one Right, so now that we are in our folder, we're gonna go ahead and go to the app data one. We're going to pick local, and then we're gonna locate Vegas Pro. It doesn't come in a Sony folder like all the previous versions would do, so we're gonna just type in the search bar of Vegas, and then we're gonna pick this one, Vegas Pro. So now we're gonna pick our version. I'm gonna pick 16, obviously. And right here, it is very important that we're gonna look for a specific file that has to do with our editing. So right here, we have all Vegas autosave.ba Okay, back files. So what we need to do now is locate the file with the same date as we edited the video. So, okay, so let's say that it's going to be this one. April 10th, as you can see right here, 7.55 p.m. What we want to do is, this is the autosave. It's really simple. First of all, close out Vegas Pro before we're gonna do anything. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the file and we're gonna just remove the .bak, .back. So if we go ahead and hit enter, we're gonna click yes. And as you can see, it becomes a Vegas Pro file that you can open with Vegas Pro itself. So let's go ahead and double click on it. And obviously it's going to be a blank project, because I didn't do anything in the project that you just saw besides, you know, that checkerboard. So let's see what happens if we open that up. Right, guys. So as you can see at the top, it says autosave. And it is basically a file that we had just a minute ago. So this is how you recovered it. Just go to app data, remove the .bak extension, save it, open it up, and there you go. So that's the first method. So obviously when Vegas Pro 16 crashed upon me and nothing seemed to work, I also contacted, you know, Magix, the developers of Vegas Pro themselves themselves and I said like yo what's going on right now I cannot open this project anymore I have to get this video out on time today what can I do so then I received a response from them and they said that also QuickTime you know that software by Apple is caused the issue because QuickTime is not capable by uh, with Windows anymore so if you just uninstall QuickTime you should also be able to open it up without any issues and these are two steps guys in order to recover .veg files and how to use those corrupted files again and now you can can just render it out and you're good to go so guys that's a really really simple video i know this is just not too complicated but if you guys want to have more complicated tutorials about certain effects i'm going to go out next week filming with an entire camera crew with camera rigs on a car with lights everything like that you guys are going to be blown away so let's go ahead and just save all that for later for now thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the continued support make sure to subscribe down below if you're new and if this video was helpful make sure to drop a like and i will see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video.